Hello everybody, welcome back to Gun Activity 365. Hope everyone's doing great. Thanks for stopping by to watch the video. Um, I just want to do a quick little video here on kind of what my goals are for the year 2024. Um, for this channel, for um, the gun stuff I do, you know, gun activities I guess. You know, that's kind of the point of this channel is that's something that has a big part of my life is uh, guns and anything to do with guns. That's why I named the channel Gun Activity 365 because it's something I do year round and... Uh, you know, whether I'm out shooting or collecting or buying stuff or whatever it may be. Um, that's it's just something that has a big part to do with my life. So I'm going to go over what I just picked up at Walmart um, about 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and get into what I want to what I want to go for for this year, what I want to accomplish, things like that. Um, so I picked up, you can see, two boxes of 36 uh, and two boxes of 3030. Um, Walmart usually around the best prices, some of the best prices. You can find it cheaper somewhere else sometimes, but I was already there getting medicine for my son and me. Uh, we're both sick right now, and my old lady just got done being sick over the weekend, so now we're getting sick. So um, is what it is, not a huge deal. But um, So I picked up 30 out of 6, 150 grain. Um, I have the receipt here. That was $24.96, 25 bucks. Um, 30 out of 6, 180 grain. I picked up one box of that. Um, twenty four dollars ninety six cents to twenty five bucks, thirty thirty hundred fifty grain, uh, twenty two forty eight, and then the hundred seventy grain was twenty two forty eight also. Um, same same prices for these two, same prices for these two. Um, some stuff I really like to keep the same grain weight, but thirty thirty and thirty out six are something. Um, I do multiple different purposes with them. I shoot or I you know target practice. I shoot. I I plink with them and I also hunt with them. So it really depends. You know, if I'm if I'm just hunting a deer or whatever, I might use a smaller grain weight or whatever. But maybe maybe someday I want to go for something bigger. Maybe I want to use a little bigger grain weight. Or, you know, whatever. If I'm shooting water jugs, I'm gonna use this bigger grain weight because in general I'll have a bigger explosion that way. Um so that's kind of why I don't buy always the same grain weight, especially with these two calibers. Um like 45, 38 special, uh, things like that that I just plink with or self-defense, whatever it may be. It's always the same grain weight in general. Um, so that's why there's 150 grain and 180 grain and then the 170 grain. Um, just I like to have a variety of stuff. Um, so this is kind of, um, I guess, to go into it, what I want to accomplish for this year. Is I want to I want to um, not stockpile I guess but um, not hoard per se um, I just want to stock up on some more stuff um, I've, I've been going through my ammo kind of in, ammo inventorying um, something I really need quite a bit more of is 150 grain I have way more 170 grain but they were both there there was one box of each so I just grabbed both but 150 grain is something I want to focus on 30 odd six. Um, I had a buddy a couple years ago that wanted to buy quite a bit, and I just I sold him some because I had quite a bit. Well, I didn't realize how much I didn't have after I sold him that much. You know, after I sold him, I think I sold him 15, 20 boxes, and then after I went ahead and was shooting and doing whatever, you know, I only have 10, 15 boxes left. So something I like to get a little more of. So going into what I want to accomplish in 2024, um, there's... I don't know, five to eight, ten calibers that I really want to, I want to get a little bit more of. Um, one of them being 5.7 by 28. Um, this is something new to me, so I don't have a bunch of ammo for it. Um, and before, you know, ammo shortage happens and something stupid happens, election, blah, 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 I would like to just have some on hand. That's how I am. Um, I, I hate, it's something I used to do when I was younger, is... Go buy four boxes, go bo go blow off four boxes. I mean, that's cool and all, but I don't have any ammo then. The gun's useless to me. It's a rock at that point. Um, yeah, a rock. See what I did there? Anyways, um, I was going to ask you guys, too. Uh, what do you think Shania Twain's doing today? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so 5, 7 by 28 is something I want to stock up on. You know, if I want to go out and blow 300 rounds off, then I want to come home and have some more ammo sitting there. Um, that's how I am. That's how I work. Um, yes, I plan on shooting every single round of everything I have in my life. Whether it happens or it doesn't, I don't know. But that's what I plan on. But I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, you know, I don't want to go to the store and pay forty bucks for this, like the store wants around me. 
Um, I would prefer to have some on hand, go out and shoot some, come home and still have some, have a capable gun, be able to use it. So 5.7 by 28, something I want to get a little more of this year. Magazines. Um, I only need uh, about 10 to 15 more to be where I want to be. Um, so between these P mags and the hex mags, um, I'm going to be picking up some here and there. You can see P mag 30. You can see this is loaded with 556 five, NATO. Um, so that's something I want to stock up on a little bit more. Another thing is is 556 five, and 223. I don't need a bunch of all this guys. It's just I need a little bit here and there. I don't need I don't need 2500 rounds of this more. Um, I don't I, I don't even know what I need more to be honest. I would say five to eight hundred somewhere around there. Um, I don't need a lot a lot a lot. Um, I just want to grab some here and there. That's why I grabbed these two. That was the point of this video. So um, I want to grab two two three and five five six just a little bit more to where I'm comfortable. And then what I keep buying it goes in the range box, goes for um, back stock for the range, whatever, and not just my long term storage. Um, I'm not a prepper per se by any means. It just is. I'm one of those people that I've seen this, um, and you guys have all seen this. You know the ups and downs, the shortages, the this, that, the other, and the ammo, the gun world stuff like that. Um, that you never know what's going to happen. Things could change completely around next week. So um, who knows? So these are two things I want to get a little bit more of. Thirty out six, thirty thirty. Um, you know they did have more of the thirty out six, but I didn't need a bunch. I'm just going to grab some here and there. I'm not going to clean the shelves out. Um, like I said, 5.7 seven by 28 magazines, 5.56 five, and 2.23. Um, a couple more things I want to stock up on is 350 Legend. I have an AR chambered in this. Um, I really enjoy to shoot it. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of ammo for it, but it's not where I want to be. So, um, you know, I think I only need probably 20 boxes of this, so about 400 rounds to get where I want to be. This is just the Winchester white box stuff. That's what I shoot. Works great, even though it's Winchester, and, you know, they obviously have problems, but... Uh, 350 Legend is something I want to stock up on a little bit more. 38 Special and 357 Magnum. Um, kind of a little bit of both. More 38 Special. I would like to get, um, I think for this, I only need like 300 rounds to be where I want to be. Um, not a huge deal there. That's pretty accomplishable. Um, and then 10 millimeter is something I want to get a little more of. Um, I have a lot. It's just I want a little bit more to be where I'm at. Um, to fulfill my numbers and be where I want to be. Um, then 45, ACP, 45 Auto, 45, whatever you want to call it. Um, same thing. I have a lot of it. Just don't, I'm not where I want to be with it. So I would like to grab a little more. Um, so those are the main things I'm going to focus on. Now, when I say that, don't get me wrong. If I come across a decent deal or a different kind of brand of ammo or projectile or whatever it is that I don't have, or something that I think is a fairly good deal, I'm still going to pick it up. But I just wanted to make this video kind of what my, my plans are for 2024. It's a stock up on this stuff. There's a couple more calibers I didn't feel like grabbing. So, um, And when I, if and when I grab those, I'll explain that to you guys in the videos that I put out. But um, ammunition, just having a little bit more of it being where I want to be is one, something I want to focus on this year. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I could take... I could take the money I have in my gun savings right now and go ahead and buy all this right now and be done. But that's not the fun of it. That's not it's not how I operate. I don't like to spend twenty five hundred bucks at one time. I would like to spread twenty five hundred bucks over you know three four months or whatever it may be and then get what I want um, because then it just it just makes me feel better about how I'm doing things. That's how I like to do things. Um, something else I'm gonna accomplish this year is whether it's two guns or ten guns. I have a list of guns that I want. I have a list of guns that I want to get, a list of guns that uh, that I'm interested in, um, whether I come across them or order them online, who knows, but it's just something, there's a couple out there um, that I really want, whether they're $200 guns or $800 guns, it doesn't matter, I'm not a, I'm not a person that has to have a $1,200 gun to be happy, I have a lot of two, three, four hundred dollar $400 guns that are phenomenal and I have more rounds through those than most people have in all their guns put together. And when I say that, I'm not joking. Like, I have a TX-22 that has thirteen to 15,000 rounds through it. That's not an exaggeration. I'm being serious. Um, you know, and, and what's that? A $300 gun? Um, I think I paid three fifty dollars for it when it's brand spanking new. Um, just came out. So, you know, nowadays, a used one's two, 200 bucks, 250 bucks. You can find them used around there. You can find them new around there. Um, they're $300 guns. But regardless, I'm not a person that wants really, really expensive guns. 
Um, that's how I am. I've said that before, but I'm just going to say that again. Um, so that's kind of my, kind of what I'm going for this year. Then I did want to get into it real quick. What I'm seeing in my area, ammo shortage, stuff like that. Um, I am seeing quite a bit of stuff around me. Nothing really shortage per se, other than the 410, like always, which I'm not really looking for it. If I see it, I see it. Cool. I might pick up a box or two. Um, but I'm not looking for it per se, but I do notice that's something there's a lack of obviously, cause I haven't been grabbing it last couple of times. Um, now I have got really lucky the last month or so with 410, but other than that, beyond that point to now, I haven't really, haven't really seen a whole lot. Um, ammo shortage in my area. I'm not going to say there's an ammo shortage. Um, but I, I will say, I think there will be one. Um, I think there will be one nationally across the United States. Um, anyways, um, across all the states, I think, I think we may see something later on this year. Um, now, if you're a person that has, um, and, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to say this without being rude or, um, pushy or, uh, you know, whatever, just people get on here, comment stupid stuff and it is what it is. I don't let it bother me, but um trying to prevent that i guess when i say this um if you need ammo go get it uh if you're a person that has one 22 long rifle um whether it's a rifle or a pistol or whatever any 22 caliber whatever um and you don't have ammo for it at all or you only have 20 30 40 rounds like just go grab some um federal auto match i have put it through its paces um, time and time and time again. I was buying that at Walmart when it was seventeen, eighteen dollars box. Now it's like twenty one, twenty two. But um, I have ran that in ARs. I have ran that in five to eight different kind of pistols. I have ran that in five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I don't even know how many um, rifles. Uh, me and my buddies, many, 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 many rounds. I mean, I have had experience with probably thirty to fifty thousand rounds of uh, Federal Auto Match. And it's great stuff. And for the price, it works very well. Um, especially for plinking. But you can get that. That can be had fairly cheap. Um, now, if you have a shotgun or something, you only have a box or two of ammunition, you know, just go grab some. Just have some. Um, you know, that's kind of kind of what I'm what I'm doing with this channel, too, is I'm just trying to help you guys prepare. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not really a prepper by any means. But you just, if you've been around the guns and ammo, stuff like that for any extended period of time you know that things can happen out of nowhere um and that's just kind of how it is um you know if you have a if you have a nine millimeter maybe you have one gun maybe you have 10 guns that are nine millimeter um if you only have 100 rounds just go grab some guys the the price isn't just going to drop out of nowhere especially at the election year when november comes around um i think uh july august somewhere around there i think i think things are going to be worse I hope they're not. I really do. But I think they're going to be a little worse. Um, that's why I'm stocking up on the stuff now. And I'm having it. Then I can still enjoy to shoot. Then I can bring my my 5.7x28 rock home. And I can feel good that I have some more. Um, you know, I can, I can lose a couple magazines. Or they can get broke. Or um, the lips here break. Or whatever may happen. And I can feel good because I have a little more. Um, I don't have to be like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this stuff? You know, we're in a, we're in a panic state or, you know, we can't find anything or shortages or this, that, the other. I'm never a person that really has to worry about that because I, that's kind of the point guys is, is I don't, I don't know how to say this, I guess. I don't know if I hoard in your, in your eyes or if I'm, uh, stockpiling your eyes or whatever it may be. I would consider it stockpiling, but I'm using my stockpile. I have stock that's going to sit there. Um, that I'm not going to use until I get start getting lower, and then I'll start swapping out ammo and switching things out, things like that. But, um, you know, like, for instance, we'll just say the most that I have out of all this is probably 5.56, five, pretty easy. Um, I have ammo cans, multiples of them with just 5.56 five, dumped into them, 50 cal ammo cans just dumped in, dumped in. That's all sitting there. When I get really low on my, my range ammo or, um, you know, I'm using it, whether it's hunting or whatever it may be, I'll reach into those and grab them and I'll start using that. And then I'll start filling a new one up for long-term storage type stuff. Um, I have some ammo that, you know, I've had for 
eight, 10, 12 years, however long it's been. It, it's been a while. I've had it since I was really young. Um, not 350 Legend, obviously, because it just came out not that long ago. But uh, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, I, I'm not here to tell you what to do or anything. I'm just saying that next couple months, I don't think things are going to be the best. Um, I hope they are. But like I said, in my area right now, hey, things are going great. Um, I have been ordering a little more here and there online. Um, I did just put a, another order in with PSA. Um, that's something, the whole PSA deal, we're going to get into that in a whole different video because they are... Um, I don't know how to say this, but when I find a company that will replace PSA's prices and uh, Palomino State Armory's prices and um, kind of their shipping purposes and how they do things, if I can find a company to do exactly that, um, I will no longer be using them um, ever again. They are PSA is not a very good company. Um, they are rude. And uh, I will tell you this, that I own my own company. I work for a company. And any company that acts how they are um, and, you know, being as rude as they have and non-compliant and customer service is garbage, um, I would not that I would not in my mind think that they should be in business or have a company. But we'll get into that in a whole different video. But uh, I just want to share kind of my pickups today. What I'm going for this year, things like that. I want to share that with you guys. Um, like I said, no really ammo shortage in my area. There's some things that are not the easiest to find, but in general, you can find most things. Um, I think that's going to change in the next couple of months, but I hope not. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.